since I arrived in Belfast. I mean, there's something kind of comforting about it, but also I just can't wake up. Like I can't get anything done. It has been so hard to be inspired whenever it is that gray out. And I feel like I've just been sleeping so much. It's so hard to wake up. As you can see, I'm back home. I don't know if any of you guys watched my youtube videos over like quarantine but i always feel like it gets so nostalgic whenever i come back and it's like oh my god this is where i like started making videos i'm really happy to be home i'm really happy to see my parents i've been doing a lot of journaling since i've come back i honestly haven't really journaled that much like the later half of this year and that's just like an ongoing theme that i'm probably going to talk about of which I have kind of just been going downhill since like October and I know that sounds kind of dramatic but I don't think I've like grown as a person. I feel like I was doing better in 2020 and I know why I'm feeling this way like I can clearly see where the issue is like I just haven't been looking after myself, been setting enough goals that I like can work towards since college ended. I felt a bit all over the place, a bit aimless, not really knowing like what direction to go down and therefore just kind of like not doing any of them. I think I've also felt like slightly, not embarrassed for want of a better word, but the majority of my videos up until this point, up until like I moved to London, were also focused on like college and productivity. Every day I was waking up at like 6am and editing and going for a run and then like going to the library and <laughs> I am just like not that person at the moment because obviously college ended and like I did it and I just didn't carry through those routines into like my not present life and I know I should cut myself some slack and I think we should all cut ourselves some slack because like for me I finished college and graduated during a pandemic I mean I feel like a lot of us always forget the like outer context of the world that we live in but I was kind of journaling and I don't think I've ever admitted it but I'm kind of disappointed in myself you know like I kind of feel like I didn't really do that much of note in the later half of 2021 that I'm like super proud of and I think that disappointment also like coexisted with um like imposter syndrome of like I shouldn't be here doing YouTube maybe I should get a real job but I don't really want a real job thought I'd just update you guys for my thoughts because I don't know I treat this as like a video diary I'm quite open about like how I'm feeling and if one of you guys are feeling the same way and we can like relate and make each other feel better then that is like all I want from this channel you know we can't always be on our A game we can't always be happy can't always be optimizing. I know this is not the negative energy that you want out of Vlogmas, but I think in order for me to grow next year, I need to just get this all out and yeah, give you guys an update. And I know everyone says this, everyone's like, this year is gonna be my year, but I truly feel like at the bottom of it, I will 
at least grow as a person this year and even if I felt like I haven't really done that much in the past few months I've definitely learned about like what makes me happy and like what I really want to focus on going forward and like what I don't like so that are some positives to take from the past few months being home I've been like going through my old like journals and vision boards I don't know if any of you guys make them but it's actually mad like basically everything that I wanted to work on or envisioned has like come true in the past so I don't see why I'm not setting new intentions and big intentions for the next year because if I want it to happen, I'm gonna make it happen. And that is the mindset that we're gonna go into 2022 with. so me. good you're a prince you're a prince <laughs> there's no sound about us i really hope you bring the sun <laughs> it's a it's a soul smart right when you put yourself into your routine one you like set your nervous system to like a routine and it actually understands what be asleep mm -hmm. or awake or camp or like hyped <laughs> up yeah. and you get Find your own voice, speak in it. Don't be afraid to fail flamboyant, flamboyantly. Don't be a big baby. You're gonna be poor most of your life. I can't help it. If you wanna marry for money, do it, it's good. There's nothing wrong with that. If you, you are your art first. We're sociopaths in our world. Does anyone remember this painting? I did that at like the very, very start of lockdown. It's a Tomi, but um, I don't think I did it justice. <laughs> this was a drawing I did at Casey Nice Sat that's in one of his vlogs. We look exactly the same. I was obsessed with his videos and he signed it. And yeah, I wonder what he's up to right now. I haven't watched his videos in ages, but oh my God, this was back in 2016. That was so long ago. I decided to do some watercolors. And I'm just listening to some Taylor Swift. Some sad Taylor Swift. Cause why not? It's actually a joke how gray it is outside. I haven't seen the sun or sky in so many days. My mom is such a hoarder of fabrics. She's like obsessed with colors and patterns. She has a few that, oh mom, my grandmother, her mother, handed on from her from Indonesia so I don't know I've just been doing some like watercolor sketches of some of the patterns that are in the saris and learning about them because I don't really know that much there's this design which comes up quite a lot I think it's called the batik parang it is meant to symbolize like protection security apparently only the kings used to wear this one guy in particular he created this pattern from looking at like jagged rock edges on the southern shore of I think Java um, and then there's some really pretty like foliage stuff um, and yeah I was also drawing from this one the other day I'm taking my mum out for lunch today because she was kind of jealous that my dad had like a Christmas work due um, and she didn't get one 
So I'm gonna take a ride. She's gonna be like my momager. <laughs> um, but we're going to a restaurant in time. This is outfit. I'm wearing this jumper from nowhere. Um, very simple. Didn't really bring that much clothes home. This was the jacket that I got yesterday, and I know I don't need another jacket, but it was only eight points. <laughs> it's so fun. Like I don't, I don't really have anything like it. It's like denim. Um, it's a little bit oversized. I think it's like size 16, but it zips up at the front. I love the fur details. What are you having, Mama? That is the question. Yeah. Um, the wine list is on the other side of that. You look so sweet. Yeah. I like your necklace. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's from Bimba and Lola. Bimba and Lola. Yeah. I picked up these books in the charity shop the other day and I don't think I shared so I got Last Tycoon by Fitzgerald I haven't read this one and I'm a sucker for a nice cover this is one which I've started by Francois Sagan Sagan Amé Bram. she wrote Bonjour Tristesse which is one of my favorite books I can't believe she wrote it when she was like 18 but this one is about a kind of middle-aged Parisian woman getting into an affair with a younger man. And then Ali Smith, The Accidental. I've never read any of her books actually. It sounds interesting and I feel like it's gonna be kind of an easy read. So maybe I'll get through these over the holidays. We are off to get booster vaccination. Get back. It is so depressing. <laughs> it's so rainy and grey, but I got my booster. So if any of you guys can get it, go get it because it's the least we can do for the NHS and for our community. I'm actually gonna check out a cafe that just opened. Um, it's my friend's sisters and they make Taiwanese style buns. So I'm gonna pick one up for me and my dad to kind of fight the winter blues. If you're in Belfast, come look how young I am. I'm gonna bring these home to my dad and then we're gonna try. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, 
it's that time of vlogmas where we wrap presents i think wherever i go the lighting is going to be really off <laughs> because it's so dark outside um but we're gonna do some gift wrapping i only have to wrap my parents and my brother's present and i got myself something for christmas <laughs> which i'm gonna show you because i'm so excited i got the canon Ligria mini I think this used to be like one of the it vlog cameras but they actually discontinued it they're kind of hard to find and they're kind of expensive but i found this one on ebay for a lot cheaper than some of the other ones i've seen christmas is a little bit giving you gotta give to yourself oh my god guys look how tiny it is and it comes with a little baby tripod so the reason why i wanted to get this is because it has that like fisheye effect and i just thought it'd be really good for i don't know just like getting different shots of my vlogs um whenever i'm painting or cooking and you guys know i also hate vlogging in public and this is like so discreet you can just like put it in your palm of your hand if i was in a coffee shop i could just put it there and no one would no one would care but for presents i'm just using some old newspaper to wrap and i think i have some like string my family keeps it quite low-key for presents i got my mum the kira misha ring and uh, my dad some slippers and richard rodney bennett concerto it's for tenor sax and that's his like main instrument so i hope you'll be happy with that and then my brother needed a new belt and i'm giving him this hat from Emporium. They also sent me a really lovely t-shirt. I love their t-shirts. They're like based in Dublin, but I don't need any more baseball hats and my brother likes them. So I'm gonna give him this for Christmas. Bell mushroom. This is what my mom normally makes for me every Christmas, but I'm in charge of making it. I can cut it. Okay. One teaspoon chopped thyme, one tablespoon chopped rosemary. Okay. Thank you. 